Shabbat, Shabbat, Adonai. Welcome to the sixth Exodus program. This is the sixth time that the nation of Israel will be returning to Israel. This segment here is called Jesus Name People. Uh, Jesus Name People. I need to tell you something that's very important and you need to listen to me very closely. Jesus name people are people who are called by the acronyms UPC, United Pentecostal, PAW, Pentecostals of Send Me So the World, and some people of Church of God and some Church of God in Christ. Before the church had a great schism. Um, the devil is highly upset with you because what happened in Azusa Street Ministries with William J. Seymour and Bishop Mason that cast some demons out during that time in the early 1900s. But I want to tell you that the devil has been setting you up and you have Jesus name people. Now, I want to tell you the name Jesus is is not real and I want to I want to help try to be a light to God's people to the Gentiles now my name is Yeshuron I am a Hebrew in the last days I am a Hebrew here in America God has sent me here to be a light unto the Gentiles that means to white people to be a light unto you so that you can hear my voice and that you can repent and turn from your sins so that you can be saved. Jesus name people, I'm telling you this because I know Jesus name people. The Lord has opened to me things so I can see them. And so that I can be able to help people, God's people to be saved. But if you don't listen to me, then you will be lost. Matthew chapter 7 verse 22 it says many will say in that day lord lord have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works and verse 23 says and then i will profess unto them i never knew you depart from me Ye that work, works of iniquity. The reason why the Lord said that is because Jesus named people, you are not casting out any devils. You're not casting out anything because the name of Jesus is an idol. You, Satan cannot cast out Satan. And so while you think that you're casting out demons, you are not. You have been inviting them. You've been enchanting, calling out the name of demons. You've been foaming out the mouth. You've been rolling on the floor and calling on the name of Jesus. But you've only been calling on demons. Now, you may think, oh, no, this is wrong. That I'm wrong. No, no, children. I am not wrong. I come to be a light unto you. To tell you so you can repent and turn from these things. Now, this is decision time. The same decisions that the Old Testament people had to make when they was with the Lord, the Christ. Now it's time for you to make a decision. And you're going to be held accountable for the decisions that you make for people that you are over. Remember this. Now, I'm Yeshurun. I'm telling you that you are going to be responsible for the people that you are over. You say the Lord called you. That, too, will be your responsibility. Because if you don't tell people the truth, you will go to the lake of fire. Now, I'm telling you, the name of Jesus is not a person. Now, in the Bible, it's written, God was manifested in the flesh. That means no one has a picture of God. No one has seen him. 
There's no snapshots. There's no drawings. There's no pictures of the Most High. Therefore, you have an idol. The idol that you are worshiping or the name that you're calling upon is an idol which is called Jesus. And that is an idol because it is not the Most High. It is not the picture of the Most High. It is an idol that the Catholic Church has put before you and said, this is Jesus. Well, it's a painting by Michelangelo. And you have been calling on this name and you have been worshiping it for hundreds of years. And I know it's difficult that you let go. Even the name is going to be difficult for you to let go because you believed it for so long. But I'm Yeshurun, the Lord's servant, sent to you from the Most High. Now, you're going to be very sad when you, when the Lord comes back and you did not obey what I'm telling you. It's going to be terrible for you. Because you cannot hear me. You cannot believe my words. But I'm telling you that you cannot use this name, Jesus. It is an idol. It's the, it's the image of the beast. This is the image of the beast that the beast has set up. And that you're worshiping it. And that's why the Lord said, depart from me. I never knew you. Because you're calling on the name of this idol. Which is the image of the beast. Satan cannot cast out Satan. But the devil don't mind you calling on this image. Because it is the image of the beast. Even those who call upon the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. It is no power in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. There's no salvation in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Neither is there any salvation in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus is the name that the Catholic Church used. They have taken the name out of, they have taken the, the Y out of Jesus and put J for Jesus. But his name is Yeshua Yamashiach. That's the name of the Most High. Yes, it is his Hebrew name, but it's not the same thing as the white picture that you're using when you call upon Jesus. I'm sorry to tell you that you are wrong. And it's not the right name to call upon. The Lord has given you a name to call upon that you might be saying it's the name of Yeshurun. You should baptize and give thanksgiving in the name of Yeshurun, and God will honor it. But you cannot say or be baptized in the name of Jesus. Not that image. It is an image of the beast. God has sent me to tell you these things. If you don't obey these things, God will hold you accountable during Judgment Day. And Judgment Day is soon to come. If you believe in prayer, you should pray. But I, I must warn you, do not pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of the Most High. And then give thanksgiving by saying, in the name of Yeshua. And God will honor it. I am the Lord's servant in these last days. Who else that are keeping God's laws? I believe the 144,000 are keeping the laws because they have been sealed. But I do not know them. I do not know the 144,000. But we live in different parts of the world. I don't know who God has sealed. But you should know, know the truth and the truth will make you free. But it's time to do some studying. Time to do some praying. That you should know the truth. God bless you, and I pray your strength. I greet you in the name of the Most High, God of the universe, the giver of life to all men. I am Yeshua, the Lord's servant in these last days. My surname is Uriah. I am the angel of the Lord sent to you according to the scriptures. Zechariah 12 and 8. I am also Isaiah 49, the entire chapter. I am also Isaiah 11 and 1. I am the root of David. I am the offspring and the descendant of King David.
If you don't believe that, ask the Lord, God of Israel. He will tell you 